Okay, here we're going to convert our payments for expense items from the cash basis to the accrual basis. And uh, for our cash basis, this is where we incur an expense or we purchase an expense item. And we don't recognize it here on our income statement until we actually make a payment for that expense item. Now for our accrual basis, we set up these accounts like our accounts payable, and which is a liability on the balance sheet, and our prepaid expenses, which are assets on the balance sheet. Now for our accounts payable, this is where we incur an expense before we actually make payments for that expense. And then for our prepaid expenses, this is where we purchase an expense item or we pay for an expense prior to actually using that expense item here. And we don't recognize this prepaid expense on our income statement until we actually incur that expense. For our accrual basis accounting, this is how our accounts payable and our prepaid expense accounts work. We credit or increase our accounts payable for any expenses incurred but yet haven't been paid for or for any expense items that we purchase on credit. And then once we make payments for those expense items, we debit or decrease our accounts payable and then credit or decrease our cash account for those payments. And then for our prepaid expenses, this is where we purchase an expense item or we pay for an expense in advance. So we debit our prepaid expenses and then we credit or reduce our cash for any of those payments. And then once we use these prepaid expenses or consume these prepaid expenses, we credit or reduce our prepaid expense account and then we debit our expenses for that amount here on our income statement. Okay, if you would calculate or convert to our accrual basis, we're going to have to determine what the uh, changes here are in our accounts payable and our prepaid expenses. And any debits or credits here to the accounts payable or prepaid expenses would be balanced with the debit or credit amount here to our expense account on the income statement. And any of those transactions that would have normally affected our cash account here would instead be transferred here to our expense account. For making this conversion to the accrual basis, the first thing we have to do is determine our changes here in our accounts payable and our prepaid expenses. So let's look at our accounts payable. And let's look at the case here where you had a $15,000 increase for the year. So our beginning of the year balance was $100,000, end of the year balance $115,000. So we would credit or increase our accounts payable for that $15,000 change. Now, uh, looking at the case here where we had a $25,000 reduction in our accounts payable. Beginning of the year balance was $100,000, end of the year balance $75,000. So we'd debit or reduce our accounts payable for that $25,000. Now looking at our prepaid expenses, uh, looking here where we had a $20,000 increase in our prepaid. So the beginning of the year was $100,000, end of the year $120,000. So we debit or increase our prepaid expenses for that $20,000. Now where we had a reduction here of $12,000 for the year for prepaid expenses, uh, the beginning of the year balance was $100,000, end of the year $88,000. So we'd credit or re reduce our prepaid expenses by that $12,000 amount. Okay, let's look at the example here where we had a $15,000 increase in our accounts payable. So we'd credit our accounts payable for $15,000 and then our balancing entry here would be to our expenses where we debit that for $15,000. Now where we also had a reduction here in our prepaid expenses, we'd credit our prepaid expenses for $12,000 and then our balancing entry here would be to our expense account for $12,000. Now to determine our accrual basis, all we'd have to do is look at our balance here, our debit balance in our expense account. And we take this $100,000 cash basis, those were the payments that we made on a cash basis, and then we'd add the $15,000 of uh, increase in our accounts payable, and then I'll also add this $12,000 reduction here in our prepaid expenses and then the balance would be our accrual basis and that would be $127,000.
Okay, let's look at the example here where we had a $25,000 reduction here in our accounts payable. So we debit our accounts payable or decrease it by $25,000 and then our balancing entry here would be to credit our expenses or reduce our expenses by $25,000. Now where we also had a increase here in our prepaid expenses, we debit our prepaid expenses for $20,000 and then our balancing entry here would be to credit or reduce our expenses by $20,000. Now to determine our accrual basis, all we take is our cash basis or our debit amount here of $100,000. Those are the cash payments that we made for the year. And then we would reduce them by our credit amounts here of the $25,000 reduction in our accounts payable and the $20,000 increase here in our prepaid expenses. And then the balance amount here would be our accrual basis. And that balance here would be $55,000. And that's the $100,000 debit balance here for our cash basis minus the $25,000 and the $20,000 here in our credit balance and that is our cash basis here the $55,000 uh, amount. Okay to summarize how we converted our payments for expenses from the cash basis to the accrual basis we used our accounts payable which is a liability on the balance sheet and our prepaid expenses which is an asset on the balance sheet and we had to determine the change that was made for the year in our accounts payable and our prepaid expenses and then we took those changes in our accounts payable and our prepaid expenses and we balanced them with our expense account here on the income statement. Now to determine our accrual basis, all we did is take the cash basis uh, for the uh, cash payments for the year and then we netted, a, netted them against any debits or credits for our accounts payable and our prepaid expenses. And then that net amount here or that balance would be our accrual basis.